Hi friends, today we will see single phase control of wave rectifier. So generally this is this come under one of the power electronic converters. Power electronics is a branch of physics or branch of engineering or branch of electrical engineering where conversion and controlling of huge electrical energy or power takes place okay so for conversion we can convert ac into dc ac into ac and dc into ac and dc into dc okay so these are the things so this is the conversion and controlling aspect is also there for example in power electronic converters we need to use power electronic devices okay for example if i use the uncontrolled device like diode then that is called uncontrolled rectifier or uncontrolled power electronic converter but if i use the controlled things like thyristor mosfet or icbt then that is called controlled one here we are going to discuss single phase that is the ac source okay controlled off wave rectifier so rectifier means it, it converts ac into dc and off wave here we are dealing with only off of the wave i mean positive off cycle only we are dealing with so let us see how best we can deal with it okay so this is the off wave rectifier so first as we discussed this is a single phase e as the source so let me go ahead with the single phase you can you might have already gone through matlab if you were not familiar with matlab please see my the previous videos on matlab so that you can come to know and here we can go ahead with the library browser also or you can double click on this so this is the new way of getting the elements because this is the new upgradation from previous matlabs to current generation matlabs maybe this is 2023 even 2024 also we are getting the same type of thing so if you double click on this it will come like this so where you can create your annotation also okay so if you click on this and if you write something it will be as annotation for example let me write thyristor 1 so t1 i am writing okay so this is called annotation at the same place only we can get the elements also how can we get them double click on the same and don't touch the creative annotation and type whatever you want here now i need ac voltage source so let me click on this yes this is my ac voltage source so i have kept here and uh, let me keep t1 here and once this was over now i want to take a thyristor so let me take thyristor so generally we will take the detailed thyristor only so let me go ahead with that detailed thyristor only yeah so this is the detailed thyristor and let me go ahead with only simple resistive load so for this i need to take rlc branch series rlc branch and i can convert this into simple resistor so let me take resistance 2 so that the current will be visible something less than that and half of the voltage so obviously we can able to see that and to rotate this element you have to use control r so that it will be like this and to give the annotation again same story what i have told you so this is the t1 and this is v1 for annotation now i am creating annotation here this is v1 and this is r1 or you can call it as a load okay of course sorry you need to press this one create annotation then you can that's it so the, this annotation you can we have already seen this part so this annotation can be bold colored background foreground and different types different types different sizes okay so many thing can happen you can do whatever you want here in the annotation so let me connect this one so the my positive lead of the ac voltage source is connected to anode of the thyristor and cathode of the thyristor is connected to the load and from load i am connecting to negative or, or neutral of the my source voltage okay now everything is connected and i want to give some alpha also so to give for giving the alpha we need to go ahead with the pulse generator so pulse generator i have already discussed in one of my youtube videos you can go and verify them 
but time being i will give you some glimpse of it so here uh, amplitude is one it's okay but my actually for uh, what is uh, firing angle firing angle is the angle at which your thyristor will going to conduct okay so before that it won't conduct so after that only it will it is going to conduct so for a positive off cycle now we are dealing with only positive off cycle negative off cycle nothing will be there and again next positive off cycle it should be there that means the phase difference between these two is 50 hertz that means 0.02 seconds so i am writing here 0.02 it is already in seconds so this is the period okay and pulse width is 5 percent that's fine so no need to worry and phase delay so now i want to keep some angle maybe let me keep 30 degree as the angle if i want to keep 30 degree as the angle uh, then uh, if i feel 360 degree angle is for one cycle that is 0 0.02 seconds and then 180 degree will come around 0 0.01 second only and what about uh, 30 degree so 30 degree is 1 sixth of 180 so obviously it will be 0 0.01 by 6 you can directly write also 0 0.01 by 6 or 0 0.02 by 12 also nothing wrong okay you can write it can calculate why we are doing all this stuff means they are taking only in seconds so you have to convert the angle into seconds based on the frequency for example if you are going ahead with 60 hertz frequency you should go accordingly that means the time period will be 1 by 60 at that case okay at and accordingly you have to move that means 1 by 60 will be equal to uh, that 360 degree then what will be the 30 degree it stands for okay very simple so accordingly you just keep this one so that you are uh, delay you are giving this much delay you can search help also so what is meant by delay and all those things as you are giving the delay of that much 30 degree so after 30 degree only the pulse will be on okay and i am giving this thing to gate and this is this is the thing i am going and uh, there are two ways to get the measurements maybe current measurement and voltage measurement so instead of them we can go ahead with multimeter also so let me go ahead with multimeter for the simplicity so multimeter yeah this is the multimeter uh, yes multimeter so every block for example i like to discuss with this block so this block m peak amplitude is 100 and phase delay is zero and frequency i am setting it to 50 hertz and measurement is there you just check here okay measurement so in this you can have voltage measurement so you can click on this voltage and apply and okay if you do like this then in multimeter it will appear you can check in multimeter it will appear so that you can give it to maybe okay so multimeter i can have so many things maybe voltages and currents of different areas maybe voltage across the thyristor multi maybe voltage across the uh, load okay many things i can have so what i need to do the output of multimeter is only one lead so i need to first separate them into some leads by using demultiplexer so let me write dmux here yes dmux so go let me take this dmux here and connect to this and what I am going to do, I want to know whether I want to know the waveform or I want to know the value, okay. If I want to know the value, I need to go ahead with the display block. If I want to know about wave shape, I need to go about scope. I think those who have already used MATLAB, they feel comfortable with this type of a new generated uh, MATLAB because with one double click only you can able to identify the elements also so this is very good thing to say and let me go ahead with this okay just let me keep it aside and um, yeah I will give everything and let us uh, discuss so let me go ahead with this double click on this um, and uh, yeah nothing to worry here yeah measurements are there you can again you can go ahead with voltage and current measurements so let me connect this here and maybe scope also so 
let me don't uh, worry about uh, this much but i have shown it to you uh, as a block i have explained that one okay so remaining things we need to no need to touch and the coming to load let me keep two here okay it's fine and uh, yeah in load also we have the measurement so let me have both voltage and current as the measurement so let me write apply here and okay here so now we have three measurements here one two and three so let me check here whether it is coming or not okay no problem so these are the three measurements here so i have three leads at the outside i'm sorry yeah so let me spread this one and let me keep like this and uh, we'll check by running anyhow power gui block is the one of the blocks we need to compulsorily give here so let me give power gui so generally people will go ahead with the discrete for various reasons so it will it make our sinusoidal wave smoother so i have also giving the same thing and let me run this so that let us see what will happen yeah we have uh, some of the errors here let me check these errors yeah maybe we need to keep something so let me simply put some thing here yeah and film coming down yes multimeter is playing something differently here i will check yeah now see three things are coming one is the source voltage ub is the series rlc branch okay u means voltage so ub is the series rlc branch voltage that means this is the output voltage ib is the series rlc branch current so this is the output current of course input also same and ac voltage is the ac voltage that means this is the what we can call uh, this is the usrc so this is the source voltage okay you just make a note of them and uh, select all of them so we need to select like this and select so that they will come at the output uh, measurement and you can observe that there is a change in the number here and just make okay so that's fine and uh, this is an ac circuit so i don't want to take uh, much time i want to take only 5 cycles of it so 10 seconds means each cycle contains 0.02 seconds so 0.1 seconds means 5 cycles 1 second means 50 cycles 10 seconds means 500 cycles if i run straight away you will get 500 cycles in this computer screen then um, it is difficult to identify what exactly is going on so let us go ahead with only 5 cycles let me keep this stop time as 0.1 only and then let me run the same yeah uh, so these are the things uh, yeah i got some different different values here so instead of these values uh, let me give you one hint instead of these values let me go ahead with the waveforms only so that would be better and i will come back to the values again because output voltage we cannot identify directly so we need to go ahead with the either average or rms so that part we haven't seen so we will see that part also no so for time being let us first simulate these things and uh, see the equations over here these two should be connected yeah it should be connected no problem yeah so now let me go ahead with the run ha huh. now i'm see yeah this is the output you can check this is the off wave rectifier output i will just enlarge i will enlarge for one complete cycle so you can see with your things yeah 0.01 yes you know 0.01 is the 180 degree that is pi and 0.02 is the 2 pi that is 360 degree okay and this is my alpha i have given at this place uh, you can check it also alpha means it is around 0.016667 something so you can have you can you can enlarge it also and identify whether it is exactly coming or not see it is 0.6 something it around maybe more than 0.7 it is coming but anyhow it is almost okay okay so that that is the way you can identify the things okay 
and this is the positive off cycle and negative off cycle in negative off cycle as you know diode thyristor is also a unidirectional device so it can conduct in only one direction whenever you are giving positive to anode and negative to cathode it will be forward bias okay once the thyristor is in forward bias once you give the firing pulse after that then the thyristor will come to conduction so after 30 degree only i am giving the firing pulses here through pulse generator so that's why it has come to a conduction after that only okay before that it won't come now coming to the values so what values we require so i don't want uh, much values i want output voltage i want that's it okay what is output voltage um, output voltage is this one only first one is the output voltage okay ub series rlc branch so that is the output voltage so let me go ahead with the first one so i'm keeping i can't do straight away as we know you we have to go ahead with either average or rms so let me go ahead with rms average is called mean let me write mean here so that we can see the mean block yeah this is the mean block and uh, you can connect this mean block to first one and connect to any of the things so before hand only you should know what is the value that uh, then you feel comfortable it has come something else but let me go ahead with the running mean so that it can show you better yeah this is almost perfect because it is 30% means um, so 29 30 actually off off wave rectifier means it is off of the things so obviously uh, the output will be off of that one maybe around 50 and in that also we are taking 30% uh, is out that means it is it may come around like that only okay and but you can always check with the direct formula so both of them are having with very small difference okay so that you can check it out and if you want to check this one i can show you what is this part so this part look like this yeah same waveform has come here so i think this is the current part and let me go ahead with voltage here because current is same for both of them so every time you are doing any changes you have to run once again otherwise nothing will come out yeah this is the excellent wave you can see uh, this is the thing for the voltage across thyristor okay this is the voltage across thyristor so now you can do so many things whatever you want for example you want to so this is your output let me show you your output yeah this is your output if you want to insert some inductance in the load you can do that so let me go ahead with rl load and i i will take some value of l maybe 5 milli henry and let me apply and let me open this even for that also there is a formula so how much inductance is there to keep our things what we can call continuous or discontinuous so this you can check see it is the thing yeah it has come like this so even though it is in thyristor is in reverse bias because of the inductor effect so what is the uh, the voltage stored in the inductor so that will make the thyristor to conduct because of so that voltage across the thyristor across the inductor will make the thyristor to be in forward bias for some time and that time is this one it this time is depending upon the value of the inductance if i increase the inductance definitely this will go somewhat later okay let me check let me check with uh, increasing some more inductance maybe let me go ahead with 10 so let me run this yeah you can check it will be somewhat extended more okay so in the similar fashion you can make to you can make use of the inductance value to extend this extension of the voltage okay so this is the idea and uh, this is the explanation for the single phase controlled off wave rectifier okay and i will come up with some other videos also actually i have done some of the videos in our in my previous lectures also so which one is not covered in those lectures i will keep covering in my youtube channel now so those lectures were in the previous channel anyhow i will give you the 
complete link in the description also so please go through them and come back here so that you can get better idea okay even you can change the color of any of these things okay if you want to change the color you can just right click on this and uh, see the colors format and backgrounds are there so let me go ahead with red color background every time whenever i touch any source voltage and load load maybe i can then that is up to you what you want to do so i want to explain what i am going to do so i am making i want to make this one as magenta so magenta will be like this and this uh, switch will be i want to make it into green color so format background and green and this will be i want to make it into something like uh, formats what other colors are left out maybe blue color i can make it into blue and remaining things are there so these are the scope so uh, let me give for all the scopes all the scopes into one color maybe this one also into one color so let me go ahead with the format background and uh, let me give a yellow fine so this is the yellow color okay anyhow this is left out so i can give some color to this so let me go ahead with this format and uh, background color maybe any color is okay cyan yellow green light blue orange let me go ahead with orange okay now this looks like a colorful event okay you can see this one and uh, you can get interested out of it okay so this is the basic idea of how to deal with it even you can have this is the mean you can have you can go ahead with the uh, rms also okay if you get rms black block you can get the rms value so my suggestion would be so whenever you want to do all these things you first take some value and uh, take the input value take the alpha and just go ahead with that i mean please calculate theoretically then you can come back to simulation and please check whether what you are expecting is correct or not and then you can give it to some other values also and then you can omit theoretical values so that that you are getting the value here okay so that is the way of understanding the simulations okay so don't come blindly and do something and okay this is correct like that first try to understand theoretically then come to the practical things so then it will be easy for you to move forward where you cannot do theoretically i mean maybe more time is required for theoretical calculations okay so if you have any more doubts you can put it in the comment window i will immediately respond to you and uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel i will keep uploading all those things so now now only i am again coming back to the matlab and uh, i will keep uploading the videos so please be with with me and uh, please like this video and share this video with your friends and family thank you thank you so much